Use the means of today to reach the people of today. Kilala ang Davao City bilang isa sa mga pinakaligtas sa syudad, hindi lamang dito sa bansa, kundi sa buong Asia. Sa pagtutulungan ng lokal na gobyerno at mga mamamayan na itatag at ngayon ipinagmamalaki na ng syudad, ang kanilang Public Safety and Security Command Center at lalo na ang Davao Central 911 na kinilala bilang unang 911 system sa bansa at sa Asia na katulad ng 911 system sa Amerika at sa Canada. Dahil sa kanilang state-of-the-art facilities and equipment, mabilis at mahusay nilang nagagawa ang kanilang trabaho. Ating kilalanin ang ilan sa mga magigiting at mahusay na mga tao na siyang puso ng epektibong ahensya ng gobyerno na ito dito sa ating Salig Langbay Special Report. Sa Central 911, pinopromote po namin yung ano, uh, ASAP 3. Uh, availability, safety, accountability, professionalism, uh, proactive, and proficiency. Regarding naman sa, sa duty namin sa 24 hours shift, so from 8 a.m. up to the next day, 8 a.m. yung out namin. Bali po, regularly, every day, every 24 hours shift, ginagawa namin, meron kami tinatawag na turnover. So, kami na incoming, pula kami na, incoming kami, team. Uh, I-re-receive namin yung gamit from the outgoing team. I-check po lahat yan. Okay, yung mga pinagdaanan namin, sir, pagod at hirap. Yung sa pag-umpisa pa lang namin, yung sa mga ano, namin, training. So, parang gusto mo nang mag-upit. Common denominator namin lahat dito sa Nenon.com is public service. Nasa puso namin yung pag uh, pagbibigay sa pisyo sa publiko. And we are considering na lahat kami dito is asset ng government. Uh, we also consider na kami lahat dito ay kailangan ng CPO of the Okay. So, yung ano namin dito ma'am, Nenon Wants to the Bow, so organization, uh, organized talaga. Depende yan sa, ano, sa isang leader. Pag ang leader isang magaling, so magaling talaga ang lahat ng mga member. So dapat lahat ng mga member, so may mga ano, dadaan yan sila sa isang proseso. For example, trainings, then exercise. So yun ang pinaka-importante. Sa pamamagitan ng dedikasyon at puso ng mga taong naglilingkod sa mga ahensya ng gobyerno sa pakikiisa ng mga mamamayang saklaw nila, totoo nga namang maraming nagagawa at naipatutupad ng mga adikain ang pamahalaang lokal ng Davao City. Talaga namang isang hamon ito para sa buong bansa na magkaroon ng ganitong pampublikong sistema at serbisyo na mabilis, maayos, mapagkakatiwalaan at higit sa lahat, libre. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Sr., Stu and Nancy Santiago and family, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montañez and family, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and family, Teresita Villa Abrinye, Tealinao Trucking Services, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Mr. and Mrs. Protasio Takando, Chardin, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Porita and Lorenzo and family, Ellie and Veronica Betania and family, Quillens Food House, PSST Bote Junk Shop, Brother Henry and Lolita Evangelista and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lucas B. Datoy and family, Dr. Carol John and Mary Grace Betania and family, William and family, Jess and Amelia Dizon, Goss and Sophie, Dolores R. Fanlo and family, Felia Mido and family, Rafael and Lillian Hizon and family, Fred and Terry Halua and family, Adolfo and Malu Ato, Esper Laundry Services Company, Amparo e Casas and family, and June and Beth Opus and family. Offering of the Holy Mass, accept most holy trinity, 
this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offers and volunteers of the Zoli Mass, especially the sponsoring groups. Digo City National High School Administration and Faculty, headed by the principal, Dr. Dato Roger A. Manapol, and Luminous Development Corporation. Thanksgiving intentions of Nida Tumali, Dr. Carlos Tan and family, Chippens of Charlene and Sally San Jose, Mrs. Ananya C. Salaum and family, Joey and Joy Mempin, Alex Rendon and family, Emilia Baring and family, Rudy and Bebs Manuel, Elizabeth D. and family, Ateneo de Davao Junior High School, staff and students, headed by the principal, Father Michael Pineda S.J., Ramline Resources Incorporated, San Nor Catering, Elia Villa Gonzalo Edding and Family, Ahensha Kimson, Davao Diamond Industrial Supply, Great Wall Trading, and Engineer Romeo and Mrs. Pizon and Family. Recovery and Healing of Rudolfo Estera, Emil Sison, Ernie Evangelista, Linda Torejos, Ernie Evangelista, Sapio Franco, and Ramon. For the eternal repose of Milagros, Luciana, Jermin Chu, Elpidio, Adelaida, Erlinda, Claudio, Thelma, Marutas, Julio, Menandro Sr., Brother Rafael Abangan, and all benefactors, sponsors, and cooperators of the Pauline's RTV mission. Prayer for the sick. Lord and Father, God without end and almighty, through your grace, you gave us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people, deliver them from their sicknesses and restore them good health, so that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Pope Francis, in his message for the 2014 World Communications Day, asked Christians to join the Internet with the spirit of the Good Samaritan, <coughs> to encounter the lost, the least, the last, the wounded, and the lonely. Genuinely recognizing the presence of the wounded in the digital space requiring much attention and silence. Indeed, this is done through conversation, dialogue that happens in the social media. Evangelizers should be able to transmit the presence of Jesus who heals and cures through the stories of sacrifice mission and commitment of good Samaritans in the world today. The presider of this Holy Mass is Father Ronald Bong Lunas, parish priest, Saint Joseph worker, Santa Cruz Davao del Sur. The choir during this Mass is the Legion of Mary Choir Davao City. Let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please stand as we start the Holy Mass.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another.
receive adoption. Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The prophet Isaiah describes Israel's future, return from exile as a marvelous healing of the land and the people. Their restoration is the work of the saving God. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared, then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
James writes that the faith in the Lord enables us to see Christ in every person. Therefore, we must give reverence to each one, poor and rich alike. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, Show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephata, that is, 
be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Are you open-minded? But be careful. A friend warned me about this line of questioning, especially when someone is offering you a proposal for business, inviting you to invest on something because it can be a scam. That's how they introduce their product, the investment. They will ask you, are you open-minded? This kind of openness will lead one to many difficulties. But brothers and sisters in Christ, there is a kind of openness that facilitates knowledge and relationship both with God and with others. If we keep closing ourselves from God's offer of grace, how can we stand all life's difficulties? Who would know you if you won't open up yourself to someone? And how can someone help you in your problems if you keep them to yourselves? Just imagine if we continue blocking God's entrance into our hearts, where will this life go? Just imagine if there is no openness among the members of the family. If we can't be open to people who are important to us. Jesus in our gospel reading today has this command, Ephata, be open. And what he said to one man before, he says it to all of us today. To the deaf and mute, Jesus said, be open. We know that sicknesses during the time of Jesus were considered punishment for the sins committed. But being deaf and mute was doubly a curse, both physically and spiritually. Doubly a curse, both physically and spiritually. He who is both deaf and mute, and many times they come together. He who is deaf, is mute, cannot relate with others because he cannot hear them nor speak to them. But above all and most especially, a deaf and a mute person cannot listen to the word of God preached in the synagogue and as a result cannot share his experience of God with others. No wonder why the Lord in our gospel reading paid attention to this kind of sickness. But of course, even before the time of Jesus, there were people who were deaf and mute about God's message. This is precisely the experience in the first reading. In the midst of difficulties and discouragement, the Israelites, who were once more slaves, they were once slave, slaves in Egypt, now in Babylon, failed to listen to the word of God. And they also failed to communicate their experience of God to others. 
so that the prophet Isaiah in the first reading prophesied and told them time will come God will open the people's ears and mouths he himself will open the ears of his people to his word and their mouths to proclaim God's goodness For indeed, as the Psalm 146 would remind us, this God is faithful and He will never fail anyone. The Psalm tells us He is the God of Jacob. Why single out Jacob? While the life of Abraham and Isaac were relatively peaceful, Jacob's was not. But in the midst of difficulties, God was with Jacob, so faithful to him. We may find Samuel good, hence lovable, but Jacob was not. Yet God remained faithful to Jacob, even and despite his sinfulness. Indeed, God is the source of man's joy. And if only man would open up himself to him, to his words and his ways, there is help for him, and there is, there is hope for everyone. One cannot but praise God throughout his life. Praise my soul. Praise my God. But there is more about being open. It's not only about being open to God's word and so be able to speak about him to others. St. James gives us in the second reading a practical advice. He reminded Christians to have open arms to welcome the poor in the community. For when one receives the poor, he can welcome everybody. But the poor here are not only the ones who have no money, but everyone who is in need, the sick, the uneducated, even those who are difficult to be with, anyone, everyone does not desire to be with. And so the invitation of St. James to open ourselves to them in love and care because if we do so we are opening ourselves no less than to god for god as james would tell us identified himself with the poor so take note of this opening that we are talking about opening is twofold to god and to everyone because only when we are open to others that we can speak about God to others we pray that God will open our ears and mouths our hands our hearts and our minds ourselves to him and to everyone we tell Jesus Lord my prayer is your command, be opened. Please rise and together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, 
begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In need of God's healing, let us pray to our loving Father that He may touch us and open our minds and hearts to His call and to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons may ever become the Lord's hearts, hands, and feet, so that they may continue to love, to heal, and to announce the good news to all. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer that the world leaders may speak out bravely against any evil that destroys the dignity of human person and our planet. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. That all Christians may always become open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and discern what is true, just, and beneficial for all. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. That the lonely, the migrants, the handicapped, and those who are entangled with pain and separation may experience God companionship through the care of their communities. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. That the victims of violence, injustice, and racial discrimination may be strengthened with God's mercy through the support of government and civil leaders, we pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. That the school administrators, teachers, students, and staff of Digo City National High School may celebrate the Mary's birthday with a spirit of gratitude and generosity and continue to grow in wisdom as they live the gospel values preached by the Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord our, our healer, healer listen, listen to our, to our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may be reborn to a new life in you and rejoice forever in the vision of your glory, especially the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the Pauline's Media Mission, we pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. Grant our humble petitions to loving Father as we seek healing of our wounds. May these prayers help us to listen patiently, to speak kindly, to see truly, and to act rightly. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mine own heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering, cancelled our sins but by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you O father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim indeed holy O Lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a deep fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
today for as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope romulo our bishop george his assistant bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. That your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. Amen. And so, may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the paths of God's commands, made co with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. In the midst of the stress and uncertainty surrounding priests due to the demands of their ministry, this book, entitled Called to Joy, offers encouragement and deeper dimensions of joy to priests. This is only 165 pesos and is available at the Pauline's Media Center located at Bolton Street, Davao City. Thank you and have a blessed Sunday.